वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ यूर सिलेबस यूर वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश द एंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ सेम फोर एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट इज सेंटर स्टेट फाइनेंशियल रिलेशन इन इंडिया वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इट एंड द क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस कैन बी द इन द एग्जामिनेशन द क्वेश्चन कैन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज explain the center uh, the, or the explain the resources raising powers between union and state government in india or finance commission so you have to give all these things the constitution of india has clearly laid down the division of responsibilities involving expenditure and division of powers to raise resources between center and state as also local bodies division of functions central government functions the several functions of the central government are classified into developmental and non developmental functions developmental functions are those which promote growth and welfare of the people for example provision of social and community services education public health science technology labor and employment etc economic services agriculture and allied act activities industry and minerals transport and communications foreign trade etc and the grants in aid to state for the developmental purposes non developmental functions include maintenance of law and order maintenance of external relation grants to state and non developmental purposes now state government functions the various responsibilities of the states are also grouped under two categories developmental and non developmental developmental functions include social and community services economic services etc and non developmental functions include administrative services payment of pensions interest payments and loans next division of resource raising powers receipts of central government there are various sources of receipt of central government classified into revenue receipt capital receipt among the revenue receipt the most important part is tax revenue a part of tax receipt is statutorily transferred to the state as per the recommendations if the finance commission uh, recommendations of the finance commission the various types of taxes allotted to the center may be listed under three categories taxes on income and expenditure which include income tax corporation tax and expenditure tax taxes on property and capital transactions which cover estate duty wealth tax etc and taxes on commodities a major change in indirect tax structure was made with the implementation of goods and services tax gst on 1st july 2017 since gst is a destination based tax and end user consumer in uh, uh, an end user consuming any goods or services is liable to pay it the tax is received by the state in which the goods or services are consumed and not by the state in which such goods are manufactured central gst it is a tax levied on intra state supplies of both goods and services by the central government and governed by the cgst state gst sgst it is a state uh, it is a tax levied on same intra state supply but will be governed by state government integrated gst that is igst it is a tax levied on inter state supplies of goods and services and will be governed by the igst act apart from the tax revenue there are other sources of revenue receipts these include dividends from railways post and telegraphs rbi public sector undertakings and interest receipts on loans given to states then finance commission 
Article 280 of the Constitution of India has made provision for the appointment of Finance Commission. This Act was passed in 1951. According to the provision of the Act, the Commission is appointed every five years. It includes a chairperson and four other members. Functions of the Finance Commissions are to recommend the distribution of net tax proceeds and allocation of shares of such proceeds between union and the states. Second, grants in aid recommendations for covering the gap between current revenue and expenditure of the states and for removal of regional disparities between the states. Third, the Finance Commission may look into the may look into and study specific problems and issues in the interest of healthy and sound financial relations between center and state on the advice of the president. This is what you have to write about the center state relations. These are like the question can be explain the center state financial relationship in India in your answer, you have to cover all these points. Students, I am extremely happy that this syllabus of same four is over and it is going to give you lots of benefits and you can score the best mark in economics. 100% you are going to score the best marks because all the information is included and how you have to write the answers every time I explain it to you. Thank you very much. God bless you.